here's one of my favorite Florida wildflowers. It's also common throughout most of North America, including the South. And Fuchia odorata, or marsh fleabane. It's also known as sweet scent, shrubby camphor weed, stink weed, sour bush. And this owing to these very glandular trichome covered leaves it has a smell kind of like mothballs you either like it or you hate it um likes moist conditions um, can tolerate saline and brackish conditions usually find it in um, flood plains here in florida along river margins anywhere where it's very damp. Um, the flowers are pink, lavender, and fluorescences on these clusters. Individual flowers lack ray flowers. The seed or fruit, um, some people refer to it as an akeen, but it's actually a um, cypsella with pappus, which helps. Pappus is this hairy structure that helps it blow on the wind and that's how the seeds are dispersed via wind. It's very attractive to a number of native pollinators including different native bees, butterflies, ants, just about anything. Ranges from Maine to Florida, west to Texas, also in the Caribbean, Mexico, sometimes to California. Invasive around the Great Lakes. has a number of medicinal uses in the Caribbean. Tea is made out of this to ease cramps, um, to allow perspiration, to, it's a, um, it acts as a vasodilator. It's also used as an eye wash um, in some places when you, to remove dust or dirt from your eyes. It's a short-lived perennial grows very easily from seed um, and also can grow from runners and suckers so it'll re-sprout if it dies back. Extracts from this plant are said to have anti-cancer effects and our further investigation is warranted. Easy to grow it's in the aster family. growing this plant, I like to kind of keep it in standing water. It um, seems to do all right. You can see the flowers close. See these flowers attract a whole range of insects from little flies to ants, bees, butterflies. It's a great native plant, has a lot of wildlife use. 